All right, everyone, time for some uh, semi-popular opinions here. I am not a sports fan. Uh, I'm not a fan of football. I basically, I've said this, I think I've said it every year for like three years. I watch the Super Bowl in order to go troll uh, sports fans that take things too seriously. It's a little bit like bread and circus for the modern era, the modern day Coliseum only, minus the exciting stuff like people, uh, you know, getting mauled by lions or tearing each other apart with scimitars. Uh, but I'm not a football fan. And when Trump says, oh, well, you know, fire anyone who's kneeling for the anthem uh, and, and so forth, that doesn't really compel me because I was saying this years ago. So Trump didn't need to get involved for me to say, well, I don't really care about the issue. I will say this, though. Trump is within his rights to weigh in on this. The players are within their rights. I don't care, specifically speaking, if they're kneeling for the anthem. But I think... Uh, they're not winning themselves any hearts and minds by doing so. I think what you see right now is the NFL uh, looks, you know, uh, consolidated like they're all they're in solidarity, evil bully Trump. I don't think so. I think that the average football fan is going to look at this and say, well, I'm not watching this game to see political stuff. I'm watching this game to watch the game. These dudes, ultimately, they get seven figure salaries and they're part of a multi-billion dollar sports franchise. They have nothing specifically to complain about. And any other time that people with seven-figure salaries get together in groups and talk about political issues, the same people that are applauding them because it's anti-Trump, which it's not. It has, it has to do with the anthem and the concept of respect of the anthem, respect of the flag. It doesn't really have anything to do with Trump other than he inserted himself into the situation in a willful manner. What they see... Uh, usually on the so-called left with such a thing, is they don't like the political speech of people who are wealthy. If you make a six-figure salary, they barely tolerate you. If you make a seven-figure salary, you're an evildoer to them. Or at least traditionally. Now, these are the same... Uh, this Here's just part of the paradigm shift, too. The same left that over the last year has embraced warmongering, corporate donations, corporate welfare as well to an extent, big banks... Uh, has told the working class that they're deplorable, has told especially any, any middle-class white individual that they're deplorable, that they're evil and racist because they didn't vote for Hillary Clinton. They call them sexist, e even if they're female, which is a, a new one. You know, we haven't heard that one before, at least from the, the mainstream left. They've also embraced organized religion. They now talk uh, in glowing terms about the Pope because he says, oh, build uh, bridges, not walls. So they love him now. Uh, they don't have a problem with, with Islam, certainly. So they've embraced the religious side of things. Now all of a sudden they've embraced uh, spectator sports. Now the same people that would, uh, they, they attack me like on Twitter. When I say, well, I don't like football, it's, I, I don't see the point, it's kind of dumb. It's a bunch of rich dudes running around in spandex throwing a ball. Okay, maybe it certainly takes talent. To be able to be headbutted in the chest full speed by someone who weighs 350 pounds and survive, it certainly takes talent to run down. You know, you, you again, you weigh 350, you weigh 400 pounds of pure muscle. It takes quite a bit of leg strength to get up that momentum to buzz down the field. And certainly, you know, kicking a ball through the goal. And say, okay, there's talent there. I'm not discounting that. I just don't like sports in general. I don't see the point of it. Get a... Get something a little bit cooler, like, you know, those dudes that, like, they dress up in plate armor and beat on each other, and it's kind of like night LARP, like medieval LARPing. That's cooler. UFC is okay, I guess, because there's actual injuries, as opposed to, like, you know, uh, wrestling or something. And I know Trump's, like, a wrestling fan. That's, like, the fakest thing you can see. Uh, not the acrobatics, but the the sort the, sor the storylines are concocted, yeah, obviously. There's still people who don't understand this, that it's a uh, fake. It's all theatrical. Then occasionally someone gets drunk and actually punches somebody else and there is a real injury and they, they think it's a, a terrible thing. Or somebody does a flip wrong and breaks their back. That yeah, could be a little bit of a problem where they dropped dead at 40 because they were using so many steroids. That's happened too. But uh, and then we have NASCAR. They weigh in. They say, well, we, we are going to fire anybody who doesn't fucking stand for the pledge. You kneel in NASCAR and you're gone. But NASCAR is seen as like the redneck sport. You know, not to, not to disrespect anyone because that's a stereotype, just the same as all the other stereotypes that the so-called elite intelligentsia of the left uses. Uh, but it is seen that way, so it's more <clears throat> it's more like star-spangled red, white, and blue than football has become. 
Football is legalistic, though. What's the NFL? Let's just make a bunch of rules uh, that people have to follow. Football, maybe 50 years ago, is a little bit different. Football in the old days was basically, oh, we don't care if they're concussed. We don't care if they uh, punch each other out, for the most part. It's more like rugby. Now it's very legalistic. Uh, the same people that have a problem with the player wore the wrong socks on the field, therefore must be suspended for three games, have no problem with them kneeling for the pledge. When that becomes evident to people, they say that a lot of people have complained for years about how legalistic the NFL has gotten. But they're going to see that this is a little bit weird because, you know, normally people get suspended, people get, you know, you know the, the flag is down, ah, ha, ha, he, he moved the wrong way. He uh, did the wrong thing. He was slightly outside of a line. He said the wrong thing. His celebratory dance when he got a touchdown was a second too long, so we're suspending him for a game. It's so legalistic, and yet you have no problem with the, the opening ceremony of the whole game being sort of, you know, fucked up. I would think it'd be something to be more legalistic about. You know, if you can tell the player what kind of socks they can wear, can't you also tell them they have to stand for the pledge? I would think... I think it'd be a no-brainer. You're legalistic in every other aspect. Then I get people on Twitter saying, oh, ha, uh, sticks the non-athletic. Uh, this coming from people who probably sit down and watch these games while scarfing down nachos and hot wings. Now, somebody told me to take the chip off my shoulder. I would do that, but one of the nacho scarfers would just eat it up. I'm worried about their caloric intake. Trying to tell me about such things uh, doesn't make a whole lot of sense. I, I prefer just going into the... If I want exercise, I don't need to run around on a field uh, in a skin-tight uh, spandex getup. I, I can go out in the woods and do that. You know, we have nature here. It's not like maybe in the big city where you go outside and get shot. It's not the same thing. I can go and, and uh, clear brush. I can go chop wood. I can do uh, whatever I want. I don't need to put on a helmet and bash my skull against other people's heads and get a traumatic brain injury. Most of these players, they have at least mild brain damage. And you're counting on them to give extremely elaborate political discourse. Eh, it doesn't make too much sense to me. Yeah, the same uh, left. For a while there, I think it was like two years ago, they had a spiel there where they were talking about concussions. They were like, the NFL is abusing these players. They're terrible. Um, brain damage is a big issue. We should boycott sports. We shouldn't have them in schools anymore. Like they, it was a full on attack of any organized sports at all where there could possibly be an injury. Just wait till they see what the NHL gets up to, you know, in, within hockey or even within soccer with the fans rioting. So they had a big problem with it and they roll it up with to toxic masculinity. And this is evil and bigoted because, you know, male players. So, you know, we can't have this anymore. You know, we need female football players in the NFL and all that stuff. And now all of a sudden they say, no, football's great. America, number one. Yeah, this is, well, you know, grandma and apple pie. All these wonderful things. Evil, evil Trump. Look, he's bullying the NFL. He's bullying these multi-billionaires that own the franchise and the multi-millionaires that are actually doing the playing. After spending months and months at a time talking about how football was evil and it was corroded and dumb and people shouldn't do it. I don't agree with either platform. I just say, yeah, but play football if you want, but play the fucking game. It's a game. Okay, one that makes you many millions of dollars a game uh, in advertising revenue, but you know, just play. that's why you're there. You're not there for a political message. Sure, you have free speech. Now take to YouTube, put, uh, make a video on there. Oh, wait, that's right. The NFL tells you what you can say when you're not playing the game too. See, isn't that funny? Every other aspect of their lives is micromanaged by the NFL to the point at which they say damn it in an interview and get fined. But you uh, think that they, uh, oh, a free speech, they have the right to kneel for the pledge. That one thing is sacrosanct. As long as they're protesting Trump, it's okay. Any other cause? No, it's fine if the NFL muzzles them. Yeah, they can't say what they want to say. They can't do what they want to do. They can't even smoke pot. <laughs> yeah, the NFL, glorious bashed in a free speech. You wore the wrong socks. Okay, mm, makes a lot of sense. No, why don't you take the knee and break it backwards for all the good that it will do you? You're, you're there to play a game that many people find entertaining. It would be the same as NASCAR. Okay, some people find it entertaining to watch a bunch of people race around a track over and over again. They also call it a sport. I'm not sure you'd class it as a sport. I don't know what you'd class it as. You know, you're not running around uh, the racetrack. You're driving around it. 
but some people find it entertaining but they don't want to see it. It's, it's a money-making corporate endeavor and you're talking about it needing to be involved with politics. It just doesn't make any sense. And, and, and Trump's gonna win on this one too because a lot of those sports fans are conservative enough to stand against the players. They'll say, oh, this is just another symptom of how far the NFL has fallen. <clears throat> You'll notice it started last year when it happened with some of these players. They were like kneeling for the pledge, talking about how they fucking hated Trump or whatever, oh, he's an evil person. And they got hammered and the NFL ratings tanked at the time because it got involved in politics. Look, sports and politics, not two things you generally want to mix together too much. It's going to be a little bit like uh, within the chariot races they had in latter day ancient Rome, uh, where they had different color teams uh, and they would beat on each other. They get very, very angry if their team lost and they were usually inebriated at the time. Hard to get inebriated at a football game, though, since they're selling you a can of beer for $10. You know, you can get your $6 uh, chewy, rubbery hot dog, your $10 beer. Uh, how entertaining, getting bilked constantly. I'm not interested in this sort of thing. Uh, hockey's better, if only because the players attack each other, and the fans attack the players, and the players attack the fans, and they try to put glass up reinforce glass between the players and the spectators so that people don't uh, you know kill each other and then people just start throwing like a live octopus on the field that's way more entertaining and i don't even find that particularly great soccer games like european style afterwards what happens the city burns regardless of who won and who lost yeah that's more uh, that's more exciting than a football game unless it's the oakland raiders because of course their fans they'll burn the city down too they really get into it but, uh, yeah, the only way I'd be watching football is if they took a bunch of politicians and <clears throat> put them out on the field and let people hurl balls at them. I'll let Gronkowski get a good running start and just go right up into the chest of, like, John McCain or Dianne Feinstein. That would be entertaining. Yeah, I'd, I'd pay a lot of money to watch something like that. But then if I wanted to see something comparable, you can watch UFC or boxing, you know, something that requires a... A little bit more uh, you know you, you want to see some blood essentially it's more fun uh, but football is so legalistic it's barely a sport anyway as it most of the time that they spent on the field is spent uh, spent planning things mostly to make sure they don't break some arcane uh, rule it's like uh, you know playing uh, what is it uh, what's that fucking card game that has like manual upon manual is it Dungeons and Dragons uh, I think because I don't play the oh, Magic the Gathering. I don't play these things. Some people stereotype me as though I do. I've never actually uh, uh, played it at all. But I know it's like really nerdy and has like 10,000 fucking manuals and supplements and weird shit about all the weird rules that you're supposed to follow. That's the way that football has become anyway. So yeah, not exactly the most entertaining thing. And getting less entertaining now that they don't actually, they don't play the game. All they're doing is, they might as well just have the players sit around and host a round table political discussion. Just put a big ass table in the middle of the field. Have like cameras on them, you know, broadcast it up above. Give them all a microphone and have them discuss the election. Or have them tell us what we should do about North Korea. Because apparently people with, uh, with traumatic brain injuries are really, really... Uh, it's great to listen to them on political discussion. It's really, really forthright, really in intellectual stuff. No, I don't think that it is. I think that they get paid to throw a ball around. No offense to them. Some of these people are, you know, they're reasonably intelligent. They're certainly talented. But the, uh, the people who own the franchise are all sorts of corrupt and also don't care if those players do get traumatic brain injuries. They don't care if they get their legs broken out from under them. They love it because then they can put it in a reel of, of NFL's Most Brutal Hits, Volume 67. Wow, two hours of nonstop uh, you know, bone-crunching carnage. And they'll sell that too. You think the players get any of the money from that? No, I, don't, I don't think that they do. That's about all. Peace out.